Let's get a video view for Instagram. That'll get a lot of likes. And action. <laughs> Perfect. Now I'm gonna go off of that to Instagram. What is up everyone? In this video, I'm gonna show you how to post a video to Instagram with the Instagram Graph API PHP SDK. By the end of this video, we're gonna have a script we can run where we can pass along a caption, the video URL, and some other parameters to the API and get our post on Instagram. For this video, I will be using this video I took of bubbles floating around spinning in the sink. It's important to note that the video you use has to be publicly accessible on the internet. Instagram will not allow you to upload videos that are on your local host. So I've uploaded the bubbles.mp4 to my server where it is accessible on the internet. So we're gonna run our script, I do test.php, and when it's all done, our video has been posted to Instagram and we get back an ID for our post. So now over on my profile on Instagram, let's scroll down and see our post. There it is, there's bubbles spinning in the sink. We're gonna begin over in my GitHub repository, Instagram Graph API PHP SDK. A link will be in the description. We're gonna click on the wiki, Scroll down here and the endpoint we're looking for is IG user media. Click on that. And if we scroll down a ways here, we will find our creating a video IG container. Now there's two steps to creating a video on Instagram through the API. You first need to create a container and then you need to publish that container. These are two separate calls. So we're gonna begin with our creating a video container. We're gonna copy the code and we're gonna paste it in our text editor. Here we're using our media class which will take care of all the heavy lifting for us. And in order to use this media class, we need to define a config array. For the config array, we need to specify a user ID and an access token. If you don't know how to get either of these things, we can head back over to the homepage of the wiki and you can click on this YouTube tutorial link right here. This will take you to the YouTube playlist for all the videos regarding the Instagram Graph API PHP SDK. And over on the right here, you see uh, access tokens video and then we have our account IDs video. Go check out those two videos, learn how to get the Instagram account ID and access token, and then you can replace them in your code just like this. Now we're moving on to what this video is about, and that is posting a video to Instagram. So right here, we're just passing the config along and creating our new media. And then we have our video container parameters. The first thing is obviously the caption. We're gonna say a new YouTube video, how to post video on Instagram and put some hashtags along with it. Then comes the video URL. I'm gonna copy the bubbles bath.mp4 URL right here and paste that in the video URL. Again, this has to be public to the internet. This will not work if it's on localhost. Next comes our media type. And we have to specify video if it's a video. Carousel item, this is not gonna be a carousel item because we're just doing a single video post so we can just get rid of that. Then we have our location ID. If you want to specify a location, you have to use the Facebook page ID you want, and then that location will be pulled in from that Facebook page. If you don't want to specify a location, we can just get rid of it. And then there is the thumb offset. This is the number of milliseconds in the video to grab the thumbnail, which users will see when they're scrolling through your feed. So let's just go ahead and say 1000. And that is the video container params. Then all we have to do is call the create function on our media and pass along those parameters. And then we can get our video container ID right here from our video container response, simply by looking for the ID. So let's dump out our video container right here and see if we get an ID back. So we're gonna hit our IG test.php file, run that, and we got an ID back. This is the video container ID for the video and all of those parameters that we sent along with it. Down here you can see our request, the endpoint, and then all the parameters that we passed along. So we're gonna go ahead and copy that ID, and I'm gonna hard code that right in here for now. Now that we have our video container ID, we have to actually publish that container to Instagram, which means it will show up on Instagram. So we're gonna click on the media publish endpoint. And here's our code snippet for publishing our container to Instagram. You see the container ID. All we have to do is replace that ID we just got back right in here. So we're gonna copy this and we're gonna paste that in our code. The first line here is using our media publish class. So I'm just gonna bring that up here with our other use statement. You see the config is exactly the same, user ID and access token. So we can get rid of that because it's already created right here. So we're gonna pass that config array into our media publish class when we instantiate it right here. And then it's all set up for use with our container ID. All we have to do is replace this container ID with the one we just got. And this actually will publish our post to Instagram. We're gonna go ahead and dump that out this time. And now the ID we get back will be of the actual post on Instagram. So right now I'm just gonna comment this create function out for creating another video container because we already created one and we hard coded the ID right here. Now when we run this, all that's really gonna happen is our media publish will get created and then we will call the create function on our media publish class 
which we'll publish our post to Instagram. So now if we run our igtest.php file again, we will be passing along this ID to the media publish endpoint. Let's hit that, and it worked. We got a new ID back. This is our post ID on Instagram. That means our post should be live. So I'm going to refresh my page on Instagram. Scroll down, and our new post shows up right here. There we go. There's bubbles spinning in the sink. We got our caption, and our post has made it to Instagram. Now there's one thing left to do, and that's to combine all this into one script so we can run it, and it will just post the video. That way we don't have to run it to create the container and then run it to publish the post. So there is one more step we have to include in here in between the container and the publish. And that is we have to check to see if our container is ready to post. And we have to check our container because it depends on the video that you're uploading. If you upload a long video, it's going to take Instagram a while to upload that video. And so the container won't be ready until Instagram has the full video. So back over on the wiki, that's where our endpoint comes in for IG container. And really all this does is it gets a status on the container. Here is our code snippet for getting the container. After the video container ID right here, we're going to check for the status. I'm going to move my use statement up here to the top. Then we have our config array, and here's where we have to pass along the container ID. So we're going to put our container ID right there. And then again, this is another endpoint, so we're going to pass along our access token. Then we're going to create a new container with that config, and we're going to call the get self function, which should return us info on this video container. Now, this video container right here is hard-coded, and we just posted it to Instagram, so we should be able to get a status back on it. So we're going to go ahead and print out our container info. And let's see what kind of info we get back on our video container. So we're going to hop back and rerun our IG test page. And look at that. So like I said, we have published the media successfully to Instagram. And so here's our container ID and the status of our container. Status code is published. Let's get this line back in here. So we're going to create a new video container. Get rid of the hard-coded ID. Now we're passing along the new container ID to our config and our container. We'll get back as a brand new container. And let's run it. So running the script again, now we have a brand new video container ID, and it's telling us that it is in progress. If the status code is in progress, we do not want to publish it to Instagram because it will not publish. So let's copy this ID right here. Let's hard code our video container ID once more. Get rid of our create statement for now. So now our new container ID is here. And if we refresh this page, you'll see my video since it's a really short three second video. Now this container ID is finished and it is ready to be published. So we want to check for a status code of finished and wrap our media publish in that status check. So we're going to check our container info for status code. And now we are only doing the media publish if our status code equals finished. Now obviously if we run the script all the way through one time it's just not going to work because we're only checking this get self once and most of the time it's going to say in progress when it comes back right away. So what we want to do here is we want to create a status code variable, and then we want to set our status code variable right here. Then we can wrap this in a while, and we can say while container status code does not equal finished, we're going to keep doing this. And then I'm going to put a sleep in here for a couple seconds. Let's get some things printed out here on the screen so we can kind of see what's going on. We'll print out our container status code. And then we'll just do a sleep here for a second. So every second we're going to try to ping the service and get the status code. Before we go any further, we need to update our configs here. Because this one here we're using for our video container and our publish. And then this one here is specific to our container. We'll say config container. And then we'll pass that along to our container. Put a little break in here too so they're not all in one line. We can get kind of an idea of how long the container took to get ready by how many print R's we have because we're waiting a second to hit it each time. So we're going to run our igtest.php file, and look at that, it worked. In progress, in progress, in progress, and then finally we got finished, and we got an ID back right here, so we know it posted to Instagram. Go check out my Instagram profile here, scroll down, and there's our post. So you can see it took a little bit for that video to upload, and that video is only, what, three or four seconds long? That's why you have to check that container status in order to properly post to Instagram. And that is how you post a video to Instagram with the Instagram Graph API PHP SDK. Now we have one script that goes through all these steps, and all you have to do is run it. We create the container, we check the container, if the container is finished, we post to Instagram. I hope this video guys helped you out. I hope this SDK makes using the Graph API a little bit easier because I know it can be very frustrating at times. Hit that subscribe button, leave a like, leave a comment down below, and let me know what you want to see coded up next. I'll catch you later.